welcome back and just like i said in the intro that this video is going to be a collective haul of some things that i have purchased from alta and also a very few things that i picked up from sephora so i'm gonna start with the things that i no, no no i'm gonna say that for later i'm gonna save my sephora haul for last okay so i have two bags here from alta um that i've just basically i made two runs it's my birthday month so and i am a diamond member so you know in your birthday month you get your little birthday gift i don't have that with me right now but um you get your little birthday gift you get like five times the points for the month of whatever your birthday is and so i just been balling out this month just picking up a few things that i've been eyeing and I said I should pick them up right now. So let's get into it. So, okay, so I have been eyeing um, some products from Minted. And this is the very first powder that I've ever used from Minted. I only, I believe I only have, no, I have three things. I have a lipstick by Minted. I don't recall the name of it. Um, I have a powder by Minted, and I also have a eyeshadow palette by Minted. Just a very nude, very basic, everyday eyeshadow palette, which, by the way, I have not used that. So maybe I can do a full face with the Minted, I guess. If you guys want to see that, I can pick up a foundation. You know where to let me know if you want to see that at. So anyway, I picked up the Minted Silk Skin um this is the powder this is the loose setting powder that i picked up and i picked it up in the shade medium deep i'm gonna take it out of the box i love the packaging by the way this looks very chic very black and i do have some powder on it now just has like this felt this type of felt feel about it um this is the shade of the powder yeah maybe that's a little better there um so yeah i actually used it for the first time today with this makeup look that i did but this is supposed to be a pretty good powder um i guess it's not talc free because the first ingredient i see is talc so i'm not too happy about that but i've heard some good things about it read some good reviews so like I said, this is my first time using it today, and I'm not actually gonna have this makeup look on too long, so I'm probably not gonna be able to let you guys know how I feel about this just yet. So, found it at Alta, I believe it was $25, and I wanted to give it a shot. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased was one of my OG favorites, and I'm not like a Fenty head or like gotta have everything Fenty, but I will say that Rihanna has some good makeup products. So I do use the Pro Filter, the matte version of that. Um, I actually can wear it between two shades. I'm like, if you are a foundation twin of mine, I can wear 390 in the winter. And then I can wear, I think it's 420, four something. I'm four something right now in the summer so i, I want to say 420 um because i do get a little bit deeper in the summer so but one of my favorite 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 products of fenty that i love so dearly is it's this pro kisser it's the luscious lip balm this is what it looks like and this is actually my second tube so i just finished basically and i'm scraping that to try and get out but i love applying this to my lips in the morning right before i leave out for work i am a healthcare worker and i wear a mask all day and when i put this on my lips i mean just the buttery softness of it i love it and what i love about it is it has that thick thickness you know what i mean she's thick and it's not just like watery and just runs right off your lips. It penetrates and it also coats your lips. And I like that because you can feel the moisturization in your lips. Mm. 
Girl, I can fit. Rihanna, let me do an infomercial for you because I love this stuff. So if you guys, and I got it in the shade, hint, hint. Um, so if you ladies are looking for something like you're like, man, I just wish I had that perfect lip balm. Girl, girl, get us a try. I, I know you're gonna like, I promise you're gonna like this. I think this was, she a little pricey. So, um, I believe she was like $20, but it's well worth it. I've had that too for months on end. I use it religiously day and night. So, and multiple times a day. So, the next thing that I picked up from Ulta was, I have been looking for a brown eyeliner. Like, I like black eyeliner, but it's just not my favorite i think it's a little bit showy a little bit flaunty um a little bit flamboyant um i just like something that's subtle and nice and not too flashy so i was looking for a good brown liner and i do love the brand um what does she change her name to well she's kat von d in this so i do love the black eyeliner by Kat Von D. So I decided I pick up the brown liner and I could have got the long one, but just to be able to handle it with precision, I like the short guys. So I picked up the shade, let me see, it's Mad Max Brown. Um, so I don't actually have it in here and I'm, I thought I had it in here, but this is what the box looks like. I believe this was $13 and I am actually wearing it on my eyes today. It's what I used to do my um, wing liner with. And I love the fact that it's deep enough. And this is also waterproof, by the way. It's deep enough that you can see it, but it's not that stark black look. And that's exactly what I was going for. So guys, definitely check that out. The next thing that I picked up from Ulta was and this is nothing new. I believe these have been out for a while, but I picked up the Juvia's Place Nubian Earth Velvet Matte Lipstick. And I picked up the shade Morocco. And oh my gosh, I think this is so beautiful. I am wearing it on my lips today. And it is like, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful neutral lip. It's a beautiful pinky brown lip. It's just, girl it's just good i just like it like that and this is what the actual stick looks like i love the designs on this lipstick and then i'm just gonna swatch it so you guys can see it and this is what the shade looks like it's like a pinky brown but it's bomb that's all i can say and it's so smooth creamy i'm loving it and this tube though can we get into this tube juvia you did your thing with these tubes i could just see myself having this in my little clutch pulling it out like oh girl what's that mind your business this is my juvia's okay i believe this was like What's the price of this? I think this was $14. $14. So well worth it. They have a whole line. They go from deep, deep brown and they go all the way up. But I seen this shade and I really, really thought it was beautiful. So let's get into the second bag. So the next thing that I picked up from Ulta was they were having um, on the Revolution Pro palette. They were having, I think it was buy one, get, no, buy two, get one free. So I picked up the palette, Revolution Forever Flawless. I picked up the Good Vibes and Chill. Um, I have the other one of this. I, I think it's the Cannabis and Sativa. It's the, it has a deeper color to it, but I'm, I'm not into this, but when I opened up the actual shadows, mm, how am I gonna put out blinding y'all? 
let's see this is what the actual shadows look like and girl these colors are like mmm and that mint I love me a mint green eyeshadow with like just smoke it out with a deep brown and you have brown eyes that green just it just makes your eyes pop 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 for days okay so that was one of the three that I picked up the second level of the that I picked up was the what is this one called it, it's called the ultraviolet palette I have been eyeing this I've been seeing this for a while um but I never really picked it up so I said well let me give it a shot this is the ultraviolet palette and this is so pretty those purples those golds I actually really like that pop of blue right here I can't wait to do a look with this palette so this is the second palette that I picked up complete the buy to get one free i also picked up the revolution ultimate nudes in dark and i believe these are a dupe for the little beauty palettes and this is what it looks like and this is so pretty i mean i can't wait to use these shimmers that are in here let me swatch one for you this is and i'll swatch a matte too like this is a matte pink or something but yeah that is what that's looking like really beautiful like so smooth and creamy so I'm I'm loving that so far I haven't had a chance to use it but if you guys want to see a look you know what to do let your girl know I will be back anyway to show you guys a look with these palettes even if I'm just doing the video and I'm wearing the palette you guys will know about it because I'm gonna let you know from I also had a gift card there um my beautiful beautiful family they gifted me with a gift card to Ulta so I was just picking up some things to meet my gift card as well so I picked up this putty tools trio um this is the brushes it has the putty primer bar brush it has a putty blush brush and a putty bronzer brush in here as well so this is what that looks like and I believe this was I want to say $12 for these three $12 so I mean you really couldn't beat that and I can see myself using this as like a concealer under eye brush or something like that so I'm happy about that thing I purchased from there and we're pretty much done with the Ulta haul. Um, I picked up this NARS. I had went to one of my other Ulta's and I seen this but they didn't have it in stock so I said oh my gosh I'm gonna go to another Ulta because it's summertime you know what I mean your girl want to be bronze we all want to be bronzed up looking like a bronze goddess and all that. Well, I ain't gonna say goddess because I don't consider myself a goddess not at all but we all want to be bronzed okay so i picked up the summer let me get the name right to this it's the summer unrated blush bronzer duo and i got it in the shade dominate and Cypress. yeah so this is what very shiny very shiny very ready for fingerprints um that's what the outer carton looks like I don't know as look can y'all do me a favor this is just a small disclaimer can y'all please make your packages easier to get into because oh my gosh I have a hard time doing it. okay so this is what the shades are looking like and it is so beautiful so this is the bronzer over here that is perfect for deeper brown skin tones the blush Mm, I would consider it more like a highlighter. It's not, I'm gonna try to swatch it for you guys. It's not horrible, but I also have Savage. So, you know, if you have Savage, 
I wouldn't say you necessarily need this, but I was actually going for that bronzer. Um, this, where is it? This right here is what the blush is looking like. So you can see that it actually has that sheen to it and it's more like a pinky, burgundy, frosty, mauve type of thing. Um, me personally, unless I don't really know how to use it, I didn't really like it like that, to be honest. It's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think like it kind of looks good on my skin tone. I'm going to play with it a little bit more, figure out how I can actually use it. I know I could definitely use it in the inner corners of my eyes. I know I could probably definitely use it as an eyeshadow. Um, and even this in my crease and then just continue on the bronze and all that. Um, but the bronzer, I'm in love with. I love the bronzer. I think it is so beautiful. So yeah, guys, I believe that this was, I want to say... $35 for this duo here. I didn't think that was a bad deal because I have purchased some NARS uh, bronzers, just the bronzer itself, and it was like $35, $32. So you can't beat that. So. And the last thing I, the very last thing that I purchased from Ulta is something that I said, I don't care. I ain't getting that. I don't want nothing to do with that because I be trying to make it girl if you're a makeup addict you will know that when something new come out and you got all this makeup and you look around you like mm, i don't need that i ain't gonna get that and really when i looked at the colors i was like mm -mm, i ain't getting that i don't like that so i am a collector of eyeshadow palettes so like i'll get with a brand and i'll start collecting all the shadows that they have and so or eyeshadow palettes that they have rather so when abh came out with this nuevo nuevo palette and i don't even know why i cannot say that word right now but yes when they came out with this palette i was like mm -mm, they're not getting me i'm not getting that because i don't even like it but girl i seen it in the store i swatched it a little bit you see i got it in my hand right got it all up in my hand i do actually like the packaging on this kind of looks like a a leather purse and this is something new for them the packaging i like this um let me see if i can hold this up without blinding you guys so this is what the palette is giving and i really think that when you see the colors it's kind of like Mm -mm, that ain't nothing, ain't hitting for nothing. But girl, when I swatched, mm, 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 mm. when I swatched, let me tell you, I'm gonna try to see if I got any room left to swatch. I'm gonna just pick up this gold color called Isles. This one right here, it's like orangey gold. They are so buttery, so creamy and soft. Um, I'm gonna try to put this. Mmm. Girl, do you see that? Like, when I swatched that, it was so good. I mean, so good. So, yes, that is everything that I have purchased from Ulta. I am truly sorry, you guys. I just happened to look down and see that my mic had dropped so i'm sure you guys heard all that scratching and all of that while i was doing the talking with the bag over the mic and i do apologize i am so sorry you know i haven't done a video in a little bit so your girl's a little rusty but i'm gonna get back okay i'm gonna get my thing back right um if you guys are interested this is a very pretty palette i'm gonna hold it up one more time very very pretty I believe this one is $45, $45. I did get some points off because I purchased quite a few things. And um, yeah, that's that. Now, let me show you guys what I purchased from Sephora. So again, it was my birthday month at Sephora. So I was able to choose 
what it is that I wanted for my gift there and I picked up the Laura Mercier this is a setting powder standard and it also comes with a caviar stick eye color so it's like a little eye color stick with that and your regular medium I believe this is no this is translucent just a little loose setting powder and I do love Laura Mercier setting powder okay so I have never ever 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 had a Danessa Myricks eyeshadow palette so I did pick up the light work volume 3 this little mini palette right here I've never tried it but I am really into these duo um, eyeshadows right now and girl let me tell you this right here costs this costs a little something so you know what I mean I'm gonna get some use out of this thing right here because it don't even make no sense for it to cost the price that it costs but I paid it so it is what it is um, I'm gonna open it and show you guys what it looks like and this these are the colors oh my gosh it is so pretty I'm gonna try to show you guys so you can see the shifts in here I don't know that you can but let me see if I can swatch this is the color called Martin 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 no this color is called Martian I'm sorry uh, let me swatch it here so it is a duochrome can you see that shifting going on with that that is a beautiful almost like a glow in the dark type of shade beautiful oh my gosh let me see I'm gonna try to swatch one more um let's swatch the color Gaia look at that on my just look at it on my finger though can you can you get into that on my oh my gosh that's pretty so I'm gonna come down here and swatch that that is what it looks like it goes from like a green to a purple shift I'm trying to get it to shift girl I can't mm. I don't know either way though pretty 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 so this palette right here Sephora $85 $85 okay but I said okay y'all got me I know it's good quality I know that you know I mean I've heard lots of good things about it like I said this is my first time trying any Danessa Myricks products I don't know if I will try any face products but as far as eyeshadow I'm feeling good about that guys this is where we will now come to the fun part of the show where I will tell you guys I thank you and I love you so much for your subscribing to my channel for leaving your comments for coming back watching my videos yes they are sporadic but I can't keep on apologizing because you know what I mean we gotta live our lives I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I just love sharing things that I get with you guys. And I love communicating with y'all. So I hope that if you are new here that you, and you like what you see, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's come back and do it all over again. Be blessed. And until next time, bye YouTube.